In this video we are going to see a checkbox list control. Checkbox list control enable user to select multiple items from the list. And the first how to relate with this is how to add items in the checkbox list and how to add items from the code behind. And that is similar to uh, the way we add uh, items in the in the drop down list or uh, the list box control. So simply follow the same approach of adding items into the drop down list uh, to the checkbox list as well and you will be able to add items into the checkbox list control. And in order, in order to add items from the code behind you will have to also follow the same approach that we had followed in uh, the drop down list control. So please see that, please watch that video and you will be able to add items into the checkbox list from the code behind as well as from the ASPX space. Now the next how to is how to render the checkbox and specify the vertical and horizontal uh, directions. In order to render the checkbox I think we have already seen uh, this is the way to basically render the checkbox. So let me just copy paste it. And you can see that in this page we have two checkboxes. <coughs> the first one is <coughs> simple checkbox without any repeat direction and the second one is with repeat direction horizontal. Now let us see this page. Uh, when we will run this page we will notice that the first checkbox list will come vertically because we have not specified the repeat direction. So in case we will not repeat specify the repeat directs and by default the checkbox list renders vertically from top to bottom and if we want our checkbox to be rendered in the horizontal way then we will have to specify repeat direction as horizontal and that will basically render the items into the horizontal direction. Now the next how to is how to render the checkbox in the ordered list or unordered list or table or in flow. Now first let us understand the ordered list and unordered list. When we say ordered list it means that the checkbox should uh, render with the numbering for example 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 something like this. So in order to do that we need to specify repeat layout is equal to ordered list. When we write ordered list and we will and when we will run this page we will notice that all the checkboxes will come with numbering 1, 2, 3, 4. In case we need uh, the checkbox to be rendered in unordered fashion then we can specify repeated layout equal to unordered list. That will render the checkboxes in the bullet form. You can see that all the checkboxes are coming with a single bullet. Now here also we can mi mix the repeat direction but if we we'll try to mi uh, uh, mix the repeat di direction here in case of ordered list and unordered list it will not work because notice that you will not be able to uh, no, no list any items in the unordered list or ordered list in the horizontal way so when we specify repeat direction to horizontal when repeat layout is unordered you will see that we will get one error the ordered list or unordered list layout only support vertical layout so you will have to specify either vertical here then it will work or you can simply leave it as it is you, you can ignore this repeat direction and by default when you will specify repeat layout equal to unordered list or ordered list by default the direction of the checkboxes will be treated as the vertical so this is the way you know, uh, to sp to uh, to list the checkboxes in ordered and unordered fashion. Now let us uh, see some of uh, some more options of this repeat layout. Now one is flow. When we specify the flow of repeat layout then what happens is that these uh, checkboxes renders in a, in a single flow. You, you can see here is that it is rendering in the span and then label and then again BR is coming so it is coming it, it is being rendered in the single in the in the flow but if in case we want to render these checkboxes in the tabular format then what will happen is you will see that all these checkboxes will render in the in, in the table inside the table so table tr td table tr td 
in those fashions it is coming so repeat layout uh, property of the checkbox list control is basically used to control the layout of the rendering of the checkboxes now the next how to is how to add items uh, from the code behind and insert at an atom at a specified place or location this is also similar to the drop down list or or uh, the list box control that we have explained earlier for example if i want to add any new item from the code behind then i can say checkbox list item dot checkbox list two dot items dot add and you can pass the list item or if you want to insert any item then we can say checkbox list two dot items dot insert and we can specify the index where we want to uh, uh, insert and then list item so it is similar to the list uh, drop down list or the list box control so you can watch those videos in order to get the understanding about this now the next how to is how to find out which and how many checkboxes are checked now this is again also similar to the way we had found out that how many uh, items has been selected into the list box control so you can also uh, for this how to also watch the similar video where we have explained that how to find out that how many items from the list box control has been selected there is a typo here instead of drop down it should be list box control so please watch the list box video or please read the how to related with the list box uh, in the above points now the next control we are going to see is radio button list control radio button list control is a control that allows a user to select one item out of multiple items now notice that the difference between radio button list and checkbox is that in, the, that in case of checkbox list a user can select multiple uh, multiple items from the group of items but in case of radio button list user will be able to select only one item out of out of many items so uh, first uh, let me show you uh, how to render a radio uh, button list control instead of checkbox i will simply write radio button list and you will notice that this checkbox will be converted into radio button now you can see that i am able to only select one item from these group of items but if it was a checkbox we were able to select multiple items say so this item this item this item this item so generally checkbox is used uh, where you want to provide multiple options to the user where he will be able to select multiple options and radio button uh, list control is used to select only one item uh, from the uh, from the options provided by you for example you want your uh, user to select uh, whether he is a male or female then you can provide a radio button list where he will be either able to select male or female and uh, in case uh, let's take one another example for the checkbox list control so for example you want uh, your user uh, to select that which subject he's like he likes for example uh, physics chemistry mathematics english and uh, geography then uh, he he might he might opt for more than one subject so in that case you can uh, list the uh, subjects in the radio in, in in the in the checkbox list control and he will be able to select multiple uh, subjects from uh, that checkbox list the next thing is how to render radio buttons vertically and horizontally for this also and just uh, watch the same uh, just follow the same procedure that i had followed in the checkbox list control and you will be able to render the radio buttons vertically or horizontally and uh, the next how to is how to render the radio button in the ordered list and unordered list or table or in the flow as i explained just now you can simply follow the same procedure for example i am just changing this checkbox list to radio button list control and here i am saying uh, repeat layout equal to order list now what will happen is that all my radio button uh, uh, will come in, into the order list so like 1 2 3 4 the all the numberings are coming 
so this is similar to uh, the checkbox list control so you can follow the same approach now the next how to is how to add items from the code behind and insert an item at a specified place in the radio button list control again the same thing you can use the same approach that uh, we had followed in the drop down list control and you will be able to uh, add uh, an item from the code behind as well as you will be able to insert an item at, at a specified place or location into the radio button list control now one very uh, f frequently faced problem by the designer is that if in case they have multiple items into the radio button list control or the checkbox list control then they face problem in arranging these radio buttons or checkbox for example here we had seven items into this radio button list control and all are coming uh, in vertically if you want to make it horizontal then we can probably specify repeat direction to, ho to horizontal but in this case also hold on in this case also what happens is that it will come either vertically or horizontal now what if we want to bring these uh, radio button list uh, in, in in two columns so that you know we will in the in the very less amount of space we can we can accommodate this radio button list then we can specify radio button sorry uh, repeat columns to two now when we will specify repeat columns to two the same radio button will appear into the two columns the same applies to the checkbox list control as well now you can see that checkbox is also coming into the two columns